Hello, welcome back to Class Culture. This is Vlogmas number two. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe, like, and share. This is a, a series of videos that I'm going to upload here in Class Culture talking about the holidays, Christmas. Now, if you put Vlogmas in your search engine on YouTube, get ready. It's a lot of people. This is my first year doing it. So I'm on track. I'm on the West Coast. I work uh, weird hours. So I just got home. Okay. Um, I didn't work today, but you know how you stay on your work schedule on your Saturday. Today was my Saturday. So I was out and about today. So welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you to everyone who enjoyed number one. Welcome to number two. So what are we going to talk about today? It was a sort of like a menagerie of subjects. So I didn't really give it a title. <laughs> so let's go. Vlogmas number two. Okay, yesterday we talked about my thing, right? And I see all of you in the comment section talking about how, yeah, your parents love black and white movies. You love to decorate. You are in the spirit. Thank you. We know it's a pandemic. A pandemic doesn't cancel holidays just because we aren't going to gather in large, you know, uh, family dinners doesn't mean that we can't come online here like I'm doing. Make a private video, upload it and just send it to them. OK. And also, hello, Art and Craft Therapy. I did decide I'm going to have the same video on both my channels. So welcome back. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about some storage ideas. We're going to talk about some packaging ideas. And we're going to talk about how to get ideas. Because some people uh, do Vlogmas day ideas, uh, videos. I didn't really need that because my mind is, you know, everywhere. I can come up with an idea like that. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it is it is what it is. Okay. Uh Let's get started. So I'm just I'm just glad that uh, people enjoyed it. OK, so I have a, a, a black bag here. That's not a part of my decoration, but I have everything that I want to talk about. OK, in my bag and Christmas can be simple. It can be uh, over the top, but it can be also small, intimate. And who cares if it's not traditional? All right. So let me let me get everything all out of the bag. I hope everybody had a good day today. Um, again, I'm within the rules. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock here on the Pacific Coast. I'm sure I'll do earlier vlogs, but today I just wanted to do whatever I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. So one thing you can do to um, pick up your spirit during a pandemic you know a lot of people are depressed a lot of people are losing family members a lot of people are ill a lot of people don't have big families and maybe they don't want to go visit other people well why don't you buy some new bedding like i did <laughs> okay i will put the link below i thought it was absolutely cute i got it off of ebay not ebay amazon i get all my shopping uh you know, sites mixed up. And I love it. I have it on my bed now. I'm here in my crash pad in San Francisco. I have a crash pad. If you don't know what a crash pad is, look it up. It's not your residence. It's not your home. It's just a place you come where you don't want to travel to where you need to be. Okay. You can check that out in the Google. <laughs> but yeah, I bought this because I thought it was really sweet. It's really, really warm. And I'll put the link. So even if you don't get a Christmas tree, Treat yourself, okay? Christmas colors. It's warm, <laughs> okay? It gets cold in San Francisco. So yesterday I was looking at my video and I, I didn't say the word cameo. I'm like, spit it out, Deirdre. Why didn't you say cameo? Well, because remember I was trying to show you pictures and they were, they were too small to see. Well, I did have another picture. You can also, and I have not done my nails yet, sorry. <laughs> you, you can also use images of cameos, especially the black and white ones, on your Christmas tree. Now, please go to my Instagram because I'm going to start. I finished cutting everything for my vision board. 
So tomorrow you're going to start seeing how I collage it. Okay. So I got all of that done. So yeah, I, I, I was just so mad at myself. Spit the word cameo out, Deirdre. So those little pictures that were on the wall were cameos. Okay. So I wanted to say that. I did empty that. Storage ideas. Now, growing up as a little girl, my dad smoked pipes. He wasn't much of a cigar smoker. However, uh, my husband likes cigars. I, I don't like cigars. I don't smoke pipes. But the smell is, is lovely. Um, what you can do for packaging ideas is go to a cigar shop. They always have a pile of wooden cigar boxes. Okay. Uh, I know a lot of people like to use in the color just went weird because it's the laptop camera. So um, a lot of people use these, you know, for their uh, herbal refreshments. Shout out to QB. <laughs> but you can also use these. And I got a couple of black ones. I might go back and get some more and put them under the, the tree. That's another way to reuse, reduce and upcycle something. And that would even look cute with a big old black bow on it, right? So what did I do? Remember, I like to buy myself gifts throughout the year. <laughs> so remember those camera lenses? So that fit right in there. So bloop. And I'm going to put a big bow on it. So when you get the whole picture, the whole image, when you see those boxes under my tree, you'll go, oh, my God, that's such a good idea. Why? Because let's just say I was giving this gift to someone. You're sitting at the dinner table. They're over your house, whatever. They open their gift. Oh, thank you. They take this out and you give it back and you get to use it over and over and over and over again. Okay. You can even put it on your table and use it as storage or decoration. All right. So cigar boxes are great ideas to wrap gifts in. Now I got another one. I'm only going to, I might go back tomorrow because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I only got two. <laughs> but yeah, I might go back. Here's another one. And they do smell nice inside. Okay. And remember I, yesterday, I, oop, oop, that was a bad sound. Yesterday I couldn't find my uh, ribbon. Well, duh, I had it in my cigar box. So <laughs> this is the ribbon I'm going to use to hang my ornaments. Now I have to find my pins. I bought a bunch of them. And then I hid them from myself. I think I know where they are, but I have to find. If I don't find them, I'm just going to buy a bunch of more. Help the economy during the pandemic. But I found my ribbon, so I wanted to show that. Okay? So, and I'm going to put this back on my director's chair because I'll forget where it is. So, yes, cigar boxes are great ways to wrap a gift, to give a gift, to upcycle, to reduce, and reuse during the holidays. I'll probably get some really fancy bowls, yeah, because I have to dress it up. And if you don't want to do black, if you don't want to do it for the holidays, we'll just get regular cigar boxes, <laughs> okay? Any cigar, go find a cigar shop tomorrow. It's a pandemic. Get out, stretch your legs, walk in, and say, I want to buy a cigar box. They should only cost like 3 to $5 each. You will get hooked. You'll start collecting them. Trust me. So, yeah, here in San Francisco, <laughs> I'm going to don't tell anybody. I'm going to give that to my little grandbaby. <laughs> OK, and guess what? Now he has a little box to put his toys in. OK, <laughs> so that was that was easy. That was fun. He's only he's little. We don't spend money on plastic shit. He'll start remembering his toys about four or five, six, seven. And then you'll learn what he likes. If he likes Thomas the Train, then that's all you buy. Don't waste a lot of money on toys. It's a waste of money. Buy books. Okay. And here they also have decorative box. Now, this one is a bit discolored, but I just bought it for the sake of this video. You can get them where they look the same. And there's an even tone like that. That's quite beautiful. But you could use it to stack. Nobody will see the top of it. They'll just see this beautiful wood. Okay. And you can use it as interior design. All right. So see if you open it up. It, they smell so good. <laughs> All right. Look at that beautiful picture. 
You can even set it on your desk with it open, you know, and use it for whatever, pins, pencils, whatever. So, yes, yeah, cigar boxes are a great idea to store your presents, to give presents, to store toys for little people. You can also, and I do have the supplies in one day on arts and craft therapy, make a purse. You can make a purse out of this. I would put the handle here like that and, you know, screw it in. You can buy those supplies. So look forward to that video in the future near you. So, yeah, a lot of people make cigar purses. A lot of people embellish them. Okay. That's very unique. Go and check it out. That's another craft, a whole variety of craft to use cigar boxes. So it, the, the discoloration doesn't bother me. I'm going to store it like that and I'm going to put things in it and no one will be the wiser. So cigar boxes are the bomb.com. Okay. <laughs> so I did that. I talked about that. Ideas. And we're already at the 15 minute mark. So yeah, 30 minutes of fun. Just talking about vlogmas, you know, or Christmas in my vlogmas video. So, yay, I, I'm getting a message here. That's not nobody. Okay, go away. All right, so how do you get ideas? I'm not creative. I can't think of nothing. I don't understand people who say they're bored. I, I just Google black Christmas ornaments vintage or whatever, orange, yellow, blue. Start clicking links and see what's interesting to you. Okay, so what did I do? And I'm going to, uh, this is definitely going to be, oh, sorry, <laughs> something I'm going to um, feature on art and craft therapy. What is it? Okay, it's a jar. It's a jar of ideas. It's a jar that I'm going to pull out the idea for each year. Believe it or not, it's, what, 2020? I can remember doing something in 2010. That's how fast 10 years go. Okay. Um, don't think, oh, well, how can you make up your idea that so soon? Look, guys, it's all it's already November. Look how fast this year went. Okay. So it's good to have an idea in your head. So whatever you're gonna work on for the whole year. Some quilters take a whole year to make a quilt, and that's completely fine. Perfect therapy. So this is what I do, and this is what I suggest. Make an idea jar. Okay? So how did I do it? Okay? Put that on my keyboard. Here's the jar. All right? No, I don't want to put that there. Here, put it here. <laughs> so I got just, I recycled little pieces of paper. Okay? And on each piece of paper, I talk about what I want to do. Okay? So, Etsy, Digital Journals, Arts and Crafts, and I put cards over there. Next year, I've promised myself I'm going to make my own Christmas cards from this point on. Sorry, Hallmark. Sorry, not sorry. I'm a very creative person. Sometimes I go and purchase them because they're beautiful, number one. Number two, everybody has enough store-bought cards for me. My kids are grown. They're going to be responsible for getting cards for their own kids. So I'm not really worried about that. But after this year, I'm going to start making my own cards. Digital or not. <laughs> uh, digital uh, journals and physical journals, art and crafts. So I've promised myself that. And these are going to be the topics from 2021 to 2019. Be ambitious. Write things down. Put it in the universe. Sorry. if it's Okay, here we go. Yeah, go for it. You know why? Because it will feel less chaotic. You will feel like you're creating something. Art architects take years uh, creating. You know, um, sculptors, designers take a whole year to complete the next season's fashion. So get on board. Okay, don't get left out. So these are my topics. Let me see if I can read it backwards. Okay. Food, boy and girl, travel, ocean, animals, wedding, family, and music. That easy. <laughs> Just write down what interests you. 
okay? And as you can see, 2021 to 2019. I'm a planner. What can I say? I'm not afraid to say that. So I want to make some cards again because why? You know, I'm a grandmother and I have a boy girl and I have, I'm a mother. I have boy girls and a new daughter and a new son because of their spouses. So that's why I picked those topics. Now I'm going to do Alice in Wonderland because they're kids. Let kids be kids. Oops. Kids aren't supposed to be adults. Kids aren't supposed to be sexualized. They're not supposed to be exposed to raunchy music. Let them enjoy everything on their level. Okay. So I love Alice in Wonderland. I love The Wizard of Oz. And I love Steampunk. And he's a little boy. So I love insects too. <laughs> so that's going to be some of the things. So I write these things down, you guys. So I don't have to say, where did I put those ideas? What did I say? What are we going to do? That also teaches them to be planners. You know, my little, you know, ladybugs and, and, and grasshopper will say, look at Gigi darling. She's got everything planned for us. Let's go. Let's play. That's fun. You know, I'm not some schizoid running around, not paying attention to my children. We're planning. We're having fun. We're celebrating. Okay. So what did I write here? Oh, also, oh 2020. I focused on, and I, this is ongoing. It's not just 2020, but, and I didn't do it online because we're not online 24 hours a day. We're only online one to two hours a day. That's me over here. Some people longer. I don't know. I, I embrace my life, my privacy, my world. So I don't know why people are on here that long. That's sad. Okay. But yeah, garden, fairies, magic, um, princess, Marie Antoinette, the USA. So you'll see those things. You know why? Because it's a pandemic. <laughs> so not a, a lot didn't go on in my art and craft world. But I would just continue these things over and forward from 2021 forward. But I made my mind up is the point. <laughs> That's what I want to focus on. And when I'm bored and I say, oh, what do I want to do today? I get my idea jar and I start pulling out my pieces of paper. And as you can see, these were some old, weird notes that I'll never use. And now they have a use, you know. Swaps. I want meaning I'll make something. Again, this is going on my arts and crafts channel as well. We like to swap. I make a journal, someone else makes a journal, and we trade. I make a quilt, someone else makes a quilt, and we trade. We enter into contests. We use products. We do reviews on paper pads. I already talked about that in Art and Craft Therapy. Please go over there and subscribe because we're going to have some fun over there. Me being me, you all know who I am, okay? It's the same thing, just a different genre, okay, which is Art and Craft. So, yeah, we're going to talk. I'm going to um, swap journals. Sometimes we swap, swap supplies and costumes, meaning I'm, I did not go anywhere this year because why? It's a pandemic. <laughs> but um, what I plan to do is sort of like make costumes. I want to start making costumes for my grandson. If my granddaughter wants to participate, she can. Um, when I make one thing, I'm going to make two so I can share it. I love sharing. I love giving things away. So, okay. So that was it. Those are my goals. Those are my art and craft goals. It's that easy, you guys. So what did I have? Why do I have all these little pieces of paper? Okay. I'm going to read each one. And that's going to be the end of this Vlogmas. Because I want you to come up with your own ideas. So um, every year from 2021 to 2019, I'm going to use the same idea jar and pull out what I'm going to work on that year. Now, even though I'm going to keep those themes and always I'm working on something new and creative, I'm also a writer. Mm -hmm. I'm working on my own scripts, things like that. But I also take time for myself to be creative. Okay. So I'm going to read each one, put them in the jar. And then probably the first week in January, I'll pull out what I'm going to work on specifically just for that year. And when that year is over, I'll tear up that piece of paper and move on to the next one. So 
Let me let me make sure because I'm like, I hope they all say something different. I'm sure they did. Okay, yes. Okay. So um, here's the jar. And you'll witness me putting them back in the jar. And that'll be it, the end of this Vlogmas. Okay. So, and let's understand this about Vlogmas. These videos are for everyone from age 4 to 94. Okay, when someone punches in Vlogmas, you want the video clean, you want you want it straight to the point. You don't want any of your other commentary to bleed into what you're doing. So that's why I have a whole playlist. Please go over there, check it out. Please subscribe, like and share. That way you can keep track. So, Vlogmas December have you ever heard, and I'll, I'll get to this, I promise. Have you ever heard of Christmas in July? If you have, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to be doing Christmas in July. Okay. So one topic is family. Okay. So one year, I'm just going to focus on family themes. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yes. All right. Next topic, wedding. There you go. You can see it. Um, decades ago, <laughs> I used to um, hold wedding um, expos. <laughs> Long time ago. Super stressful. <laughs> Super stressful, stressful. After my daughter got married, fabulous wedding. Fingers crossed we go back and celebrate their 10 year where they got married. It will be that much more fabulous as well. Um, very stressful in, uh, industry. But when I do pull that, that will be my one and last time to dip my foot back in that industry. It's very profitable. It's very fun. It's just very draining. I used to be obsessed with Bridezilla. <laughs> I don't even know if it still comes on TV because I was in the industry, but I, I got out of it. It's too stressful. <laughs> so one year, my whole focus would be family, um, wedding, and one year, my whole focus will be on animals. I am an animal lover. Yes, I am. Um, I can come up with anything. You know, I, I, I can come up with... Uh, arts and crafts. I can just come up with maybe all that whole year. I'll just buy books for my um, grandchildren to read about animals. You know, I can get a coffee table book about birds in Africa. You know, that's, that's what makes this easy. Make an idea jar, put your ideas in there and say, hmm, my whole year is planned. <laughs> okay. One year, I want to focus on ocean. Okay, so that's easy. Maybe it's somebody's birthday and we have a luau. Maybe it's somebody's birthday and we'll have a pirate thing. Easy. That that's just how I work. Just just make it fun. Okay, one year, like I said, I have lots of good boys in my family. Meaning, when I make journals, they won't, won't always be pink. They'll be blue. Um, when we do, when we decorate for birthdays, it will be, you know, trains and planes instead of lollipops and unicorns. You know, that'll be fun because why? Well, I have a grandson. You have to pay attention to that. Make it theme correct. Okay. Don't make it so, well, we have to include everybody. No, but he's, he's a boy. If he wants pirates, he's getting pirates, you know, so that'll be good. Because I do have a lot of girly things in my art and craft stash. Go ahead, please watch my videos. That way you'll be caught up when I really start going on art and craft therapy. And then, of course, I'm glad I picked it right after each other. One year, just girl. Okay. All right. So let me see what's the last one. I forgot what they were. I've, I've done this a while ago. Travel. Okay, I've oops, sorry. I've been all over the world. There are a couple of countries. Matter of fact, here it's blank, right? I'm looking for a pen. 
Oh, there's one here in my desk. I'm almost sure. Nope. Where is it? Okay, let me just grab. I'm going to write down. I'm going to share with you where I want to visit because I've, I've done all the traveling I really want to do. Yeah, here it is. Okay. I've done all the traveling I really want to do. I've been all over. I've been in the military. <laughs> Two branches. Okay. Um, family, we're international. Okay. This is my wish. I'm going to put it in the universe. I wish to live overseas for six months and then in America for six months. I know a lot of people that live that way. So that's my wish. Okay. Knock on everything. I could live anywhere on planet Earth. So here, one year will be just travel. Okay. So um, I'm going to put some ideas down here. Of course, right? The uh, continent of Africa. Because I have not stepped on the continent of Africa yet. I want to go to Greece. I've never been to Greece. I've been to Japan. I've been to Hong Kong. So I've been to uh, Australia. So I've been to all those places. Caribbean, you know, um, or Caribbean, how some people pronounce it. I've been to many, many states, but there are a few states I've never been to. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to write those down. What are they? I, I always forget which one. Okay. Yeah. And people, I share this with people, and people go, oh, you could knock that out in a minute. I'm like, yeah, I know. So um, I wish this is what you're going to get for now. I'll fill it out later. So New Hampshire, Delaware, I've never been to those states. And then I'll be in the 50 Travel State Club. I know there's a special name for it, but I can't think of it right now. And, oops, Greece and Africa. So those are the only two places I really would like to visit because I've never been there. Um, I have friends in Russia, but I have absolutely no uh, desire to visit Russia. Um, I have family in Poland, obviously, but I have absolutely no desire. I'm going to write it down, put it in the universe, because basically all they tell me is just buy the ticket and come. And I know I'll be well taken care of, but I just don't have any desire, especially during a pandemic. Okay. But it's there. It is what it is. Okay. I'm going to have to... I just noticed I'm going to have to cover my eyes when I pick one because I can obviously see that's the travel one, but that's easy. You know, just put it on the place, move them around and pick. All right. Music. Yay. One year. I'll just focus on music. Okay. Because I'm so serious. When I say I'm going to retire, 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 retire. <laughs> In nine years, that's it. I'm just going to sit around and be the lady of luxury that I deserve to be. Because I, I work because I like to work. Why not? You know, build up that social security, build up the bank account. Why not? Right? But, yeah, people usually retire 60, 65. That's when I'll probably get back into traveling um, and really... Um, Deciding where I want to live and stay permanently. And I've already put some ideas out. <laughs> Food. Definitely. Some people make um, videos, not videos, arts and crafts. Nothing but food. They Like Martha Stewart. You know, she'll, she'll, she'll bake a cake. Right? And then she'll make the box and put the cake in it. You know what I mean? So that's going to be fun. Okay? So, see, already, idea jar, why not? I don't need to put it in a book. I don't need stickies. I don't need to remember. It's there. I created them. They're mine. Um, and when I pull it out, for instance, if I pull out food for 2021, I'll write 2021 on the back. And I'll put it back here. Why? It, it becomes not an heirloom, but it'll be something that your kids can cherish and say, oh, wow, there's Gigi. Darling's ideal jar. Don't mess with it, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm at my 30 minute mark. This is a blast. Okay, I might come later on tonight. Um, so thank you for enjoying this video. Yes, I'm still waiting for my Christmas tree. I told Amazon if I don't get them and my daughter doesn't get them by Friday, I'm canceling them. I don't even care if I still get them. I'm keeping them, and I'm just gonna go in the store and buy the damn thing. But yeah, there's something weird going on with Amazon. 
And um, we should have had our trees by Monday. So I don't know what's going on. It's the holidays. So, and it's a pandemic. So maybe things are a bit haywire since we, the, we have all of these regulations and distancing and things like that. I'll cut them a break, but I like to have my tree up every year, at least by December 11th. Okay. Just a little hint, hint. We are going to do 12 days of Christmas and we are going to talk about Kwanzaa. Okay. So thank you so much. I get my life and I might come on later tonight. If not, see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good evening. Have a good day. See you soon on these YouTube streets. Bye.